two of Led Zeppelin. This is a double bootleg album. Now, uh, Peter Grant, Peter Grant is the producer of Led Zeppelin. Now, if he was alive, seen this video, he'd come to my place, kick down my door, and he would break this record on his knees. That's what he did. He went into record stores, and if he found any bootleg, if they were selling any bootleg Led Zeppelin records, he would break them on the spot. Led Zeppelin, Presents, Achilles' Last Stand, what a beautiful song, that's so awesome. This is the inner sleeve, what it looks like. And through the outdoor. Uh, originally comes with a brown paper cover. So you get a surprise cover. Um, I think there's five or six different um, covers, like each Led Zeppelin cover is different. Notice the woman in the background. Slightly different. Notice the woman in the background, slightly different. Notice the guy lighting up the, the piece of paper, different. Notice the guy, all these subtle differences are on there. Another one. All of a sudden that guy standing there, the bartender. And here we have a different angle. So they're all different covers of In Through the Outdoor. Nineteen eighty two. It blew me away that Robert Plant was putting out an album. He put out an album called Pictures at Eleven. Great album. The cover there, the band members. Robbie Blunt is the guitarist. Like I said on the Silverhead video, my video, Silverhead, Robbie Blunt was the guitarist in the band Silverhead. Horses on uh, Swan Song Records. Slow Dancer, check out Slow Dancer. Totally Led Zeppelin. Must have been the, the last bit of Led Zeppelin that never happened, I'm thinking. So Robert Plant's gone solo here, right? I got two of those. Robert Plant's Principle of Moments. Another great album of his. That's how the inner sleeve looks like. Swan Song, I guess, folded up. No longer around after that. His third album, Shaking the Stirred. Good album, took me a while though to actually kind of like it. It's a little different. Um, 
kind of bit on the poppy new wavy. But it grew on me. There were some songs I really liked from the beginning too. Robert Plant also sang in the group The Honey Drippers later on. I think it was 1987 or 86. Sea of Love used to be on the radio. Jimmy Page put out solo albums. In the sleeve for that. Jimmy Page. I think I got a poster of his too. Summer. I got so much stuff. It's hard to find stuff. <clears throat> Some of the stuff here is reminiscent of uh, Led Zeppelin. I think Emerald Eyes. The Only One. Rites of Winter. I have the 45 of Hey Hey What Can I Do? Although not the original one. The original one would be the Red Record label as I showed you before in the LPs. Robert Plant, 45. 45 of Over the Hills and Far Away and Dancing Days by Led Zeppelin. 45 of Hot Dog. And uh, Fool in the Rain by Led Zeppelin. Crunch, Dire Maker. That country woman and trampled underfoot from physical graffiti. I'm probably going to do uh, four parts. I got so much stuff to show. Um, yeah. So there's one of my blue uh, bootleg records. I'll show you more in the next video. I don't know when I'm going to make the next video, not tonight. Like and subscribe, support the band, the metal we trust. Got more goodies, way more goodies. I got stuff you haven't heard of, probably. Or most of you guys haven't heard of. I guarantee it.